Yusuf, we just saw this cross. Explain to us what's happened. David, this day always looked like it would take on historic proportions. Now, perhaps a chance for the central bank to reassert some level of credibility. The rate then coming in at 24%, as you said, for the one-week repo rate. That is on the upper side of estimates. The average, it's hard to talk about a consensus estimate because the ranges were varying very widely all the way up to 25% and more than that. And so the average was about 21%. ING was looking for 21%. TD Security said that the central bank would disappoint. And we had heard that there might be a surprise to the downside. A very clear signal from the central bank. They're also saying that there will be further tightening and that will be delivered as and when it is needed. They do acknowledge that consumer demand is slowing. The meeting was attended by six members. Bear in mind that the bank had to find the balance theoretically between making sure not to kill off the growth that's left while still regaining confidence from foreign investors. We had the very controversial comments from the Turkish president just about an hour or so ago saying that high interest rates cause inflation, calling on banks to reduce interest rates and saying that they are evil, that they are a tool of exploitation. But amidst all the commentary, what was buried was a comment that the central bank is independent and can make its own decisions. This surprise to the upside confirms perhaps that kind of messaging and a clear signal that the bank is waking up to the reality of double-digit inflation, 15-year highs. You can see it as you walk across the streets here in Istanbul. And then, of course, growth slowing this week, the latest data for the second quarter. Guys? So, Yusuf, as you've been talking, we've been watching the reaction in the market actually over in Turkey, and we see that the stock market is up, the lira is up. That all sounds like good news. At the same time, there is a recession, isn't there? What is this going to do to GDP growth in Turkey? You're really looking at a slowdown in growth overall. Absolutely. So the numbers we got for the second quarter were 5.2 percent, the slowdown from the quarter before. And the predictions and forecasts for 2019 are possible scenarios of stagflation. There was enormous pressure on the central bank to move decisively to win some level of confidence back from investors. Having said that, we heard as well from the Turkish government just a few hours ago that they're going to move very clearly towards trying to reduce what they see as manipulation. The rate that you see in the foreign exchange market for the Turkish lira is perhaps not the most realistic and accurate pricing because there is less liquidity in this particular trade. They fixed some of the management tools that the central bank can operate and ultimately now the signal is clear that they're going to be able to actually make a move in terms of trying to win back some foreign investors.